Oh, there we are, we're live. Oh, wow. Hello, oh, wow. Bridge. There's not going to oh, be okay. anybody here. You're talking to crickets, Michael. There's <laughs> no, there's been people chatting. Nah, they, they love getting in there early. Cannot they, be. They love the internet. Hello, Twitch. Welcome. Welcome to our epilogue, but at the beginning, uh, episode zero, a canonical... <laughs> <laughs> if only uh, there was a name for an epilogue that happens before something. I think you this said is, that last week. Too. This is like the arch, you uh -huh. know, but for okay. um, our podcast, arch. it's the gateway. Oh, you mean like that? Okay, you mean like the arch here? The our, arch our in St. Louis. St. Louis. Okay. Uh, we are joined by very special guests, John Itarola. John, hello. Say hello. Hi. How's it going? Very excited to be here. We are excited. Um, to so we okay so previously we did like this whole very involved introduction and stuff like that and we would do it live every single week um mm -hmm. where we would and then we would go into you know explaining who our guests are and the rare occasion where we had uh, a guest um but we don't do that anymore so normally we jump right into the action now so how should we do it? i guess we, normal we gotta intro. tell I mean, our audience, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm exactly. Sure, I'm sure. Because before we had David them... doing well, previously on. Yeah, that's a good point because we won't have you saying previously on. You'll probably get to do your little your little DM speech, um, but we should definitely let John plug at the beginning. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A little plug yes. at the beginning and another plug at the end. Yeah. Right. For huh. sure. Oh shit! I, I, what? I think there is a good. I think our audience is gonna definitely enjoy your brand of yeah, uh, yeah. content creation. I think so, too. Michael, I'll, I'll you s it. you sound buggy. Robotty. Robot. Do I sound robotty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a little like, like hiccupy, but like it's not. Yeah, because your your video looks a little. It's like if someone poured your audio over a little gravel. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's sexy, it but it's not bad. <laughs> Um, no, it's, it's supposed to sound one way. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't sound a little different in some weeks. I don't uh, know much about this world. Is this a thing? Like, yeah, this is a whole thing. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I'll be right back. Um, all right, I'm closing stuff to see if maybe I've got too much crap over Yeah, there. Google's Chrome, it You're too, really too, too is just clogged. loves to slurp it up. Um, I should I should drop out of the call just to piss off Bachman. <laughs> You'll cry. <laughs> He'd be very. What if you come back and it's like perfect though? So I mean. That's oh, fun. you were last to join, so no, it actually should be last. fine for you no. to leave. Shit. Shit. Uh, okay, Twitch. <laughs> this week there will be five winners. So whenever I say you're not gonna win, uh, divide that by five. Uh, we should say that this week typically we give away. Uh, fifty dollars worth of dice. We almost mm -hmm. never mention that because I always forget it, and it feels like bragging. And I was raised Baptist, but just <laughs> yeah, and you can still buy many sets of dice. Yeah. But this week, it's twenty dollars. We're giving away we five. Buy. So hashtag prologue. It's a lot of prologues in the chat. <laughs> can I get a prologue in the chat? What's up? <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, it, and you know, John, you can enter too. You know, no yeah, yeah, you're allowed. But you can't. Oh, oh does can't. John get to win? <laughs> if, if John wins, yes, yeah, fine. Okay, I'm logging into all of my accounts. <laughs> I like, get those. <laughs> this just right means on. I have five chances to lose. <laughs> uh, a friend of ours did that, where he logged into several of his accounts. I was like, Galen, oh, <laughs> you can't win this. Well, you can win this, but Drinking Quest can't. <laughs> oh galen so yeah um i hope everyone enjoyed oh shit <laughs> oh. Oh, my he gosh. <laughs> uh, no. i he did hello Ooh, it everything worked. aligned again oh. yeah because michael was last um so yeah thank you everybody for all the kind great words uh, about uh, uh the leviathan art yes that was very fun, very spooky. Um, I think Fred is is Fred in the chat. Thank you to, again. To yes, Fred. he is. I just Fred, our friend Fred DM'd us for our mini campaign, so Michael actually got to play a character, which was fun. 
Awesome. That's exciting. Cool. Did well, I guess I shouldn't say. What if someone hasn't listened to Leviathan? I won't spoil it. Anyone Never could mind. have died, not just Michael's character. Mm -hmm. But I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> I was sincerely going to do a spoiler. Um, how, do I sound any different? Any better? You sound you great. Better. Yeah. You sound perfect. Your 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 quality is, is crystal much clear. Better than before. Angels. Yeah. Oh my god, people in the chat. So many. Um, Nika, are you wearing a Bob Seger shirt? Yes, I found this in my local <laughs> vintage yeah. store. And it is the Bob Seger. Oh my god, the, that's amazing. Yes. <laughs> it's from 1980. Um, Hell, it does yes. have this like weird like line on it underneath here. I don't know what it's from, but I don't care. It's great. It's just meant to be. And that I way. hate horses, but I scarred. and I hate Bob Seger, so I hate everything <laughs> about this shirt. But That's I what love makes this shirt. Good, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's true. Oh, I think you hated horses. Well, I hate them because every horse. Okay, I hate horses. All I wanted oh, as a young, a young wee girl was just to be able to ride on horses like all of my friends. And I had a friend who had horses. So she put me on one of her horses and she's like, it is so chill. Oh. It'll be fine. And then the motherfucker tried to run down a hill whenever I had literally never been on a horse before. So I'm like <gasps> freaking out and I almost fell off. So that was enough for you. No, that's very traumatic. Years. To be to be fair, when Nika freaks out, she makes this noise like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a little confusing confusing as I came to learn. Um, but then the second time that I decided to go wild and um, ride horses, the oldest horse that had no giddy up and go decided to giddy up and went into the electric fence and tried to like throw me off into it. And I'm like, motherfucker, I'm done. I am These done. horses are trying to kill themselves. These are like, the, these are like final destination horses. Yeah. yeah, I hate them. So now I hate horses and I hate kangaroos. The They're horses are awful. trying to murder suicide you. Yeah. <laughs> They sense, I guess, how much I wanted to love them, and they yeah. are withholding of that love. And they're like, fuck you. <laughs> My sister was uh, kicked by a horse named Goliath, oh. and, or Hercules, oh, one of the two. Something and big boy. Uh, it was not an ironic name. What, what do you mean? He's big. He's big. Oh, I got it, got it, got it, got it, yeah. You guys have too many horse stories. Um, do we... Like John, you're already recording, right? Uh, I believe that I am. Okay. Um, looks like it's still recording. The rest of you people, um, do you have recording devices? I do as hell. Mm -hmm. All right. I've got a computer. You fucking know it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a computer. I have a phone. <laughs> All right. Which would you prefer? Uh, are you ready? Yeah. You okay, sure. I'm go. Uh, three, two, one, go. Recording. 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 And now, and now, what we'll do, John, is we'll all go to time. Dot is and clap when the website loads. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we know. That is not what we're gonna do. <laughs> do not listen. Is David in the chat? Chat. I David loves to yell at us for trying to. He's not in the chat. <laughs> he won't know. <laughs> David's asleep. Quick, go to time. Dot is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, our, our editor's very good, so we like to make things easier for him. And he's like, stop, like, stop. Don't, you're right, just making it worse. <laughs> you're making it worse. You're boring <laughs> now. Give me a challenge. Um, and yes, uh, Fred Greenleaf is, uh, 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 we will be playing a very special, next Monday, uh, a brand new show is, oh, is right. coming to Ye Olde Geekly Inc. Uh, Vanguard of the Veil, a monster of the week. Uh, uh, podcast, so it's gonna be me, Fred, Veronica, and Matthew and Morris, with Fred uh, being the GM. Hell yeah! And uh, yeah, we had our, our session zero last night, so that's be every Monday. That's cool. Cool. Yeah. It's a good combo, of folks. Excellent. And then, yeah, right. hashtag prologue. If you'd like to win some beautiful diehard dice, they look a little something like this. Put your hand behind Every it. Put your hand behind it. Yes, <laughs> All right. So, uh, I think ready? you need to do the normal intro. Yeah, I'll do the normal. As, as no okay. I'll do, the, I'll do the normal intro. <laughs> Greetings, adventurers. I am Michael DeMauro, and my pronouns are he, him. With me this week, Mike Bachman. 
I haven't had a chance to think of my goof. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tim Lanning. Hey, everybody. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. My pronouns are also he, him. Jennifer Cheek. Hi, everyone. My pronouns are she, her. Nika Howard. Hello. My pronouns are also she, her. <laughs> And special guest, John Idarola. Hi, John. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm he, him, and I'm very excited to be talking about something other than infrastructure. Yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That's kind of... Uh, vi uh, campaign 2 no. is going to be it's very... Yeah, it is, yeah, it is extremely um, bus Base, Everyone, fighting. Everyone's been gagging for us to finally set up a shipping empire. They want the nitty gritty. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell folks oh, uh, uh, where you come from. What sort of yeah. the hashtag content do you do and all that delicious yeah. stuff? Um, yeah, I somehow transitioned from grad school into, uh, <laughs> I did political psychology and uh, decided to I don't know, start talking about it, I guess, for uh, a show called The Young Turks. Um, mm -hmm. So I started working for them. I'd been a listener to them for years yeah. and years. And then I went and worked for them and eventually got my own show, uh, a few different shows along the way. But the show that I host right now is called The Damage Report. It is a sort of daily kind of morning-ish uh, just analysis of what's going on, what I care about, what I think is important, and that sort of thing. Awesome. Seems I feel like this, this is, is one that I need to add to my daily podcast list or, or show list of things that make me depressed about this. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that with all of my heart. I listen to this stuff all the time. I'm like, let's add another one in. I need some more, another person to also be screaming John, about saying throw, things that I'm screaming about. Throw some good news out there. You know, let's <laughs> See, this is why I have, to, I have to stop reading those things and then come on this show. It's a delicate balancing act between listening to podcasts and therapy, and you just got to find that yeah. right balance. I'm mostly yeah, like, just doing the podcast part right now. So. About twice a year we have good news. We had okay. one last week, so we're good for a while. But okay. mostly yeah. it's me absorbing bad news and then i just need an audience for me to offload it to so I'm yeah not yeah to help take that psychic toll this is yeah. your problem now <laughs> <laughs> oh did you know about this oh you didn't well now you do how does that feel i've yeah. always described our audience as the water in a mental dunk tank <laughs> that we jump into. I'm not entirely sure what I mean. I'm not sure if I've heard you say that before. <laughs> but okay. Um, I, I would definitely suggest our listeners uh, go check out the Damage Report and yeah. the Young Turks. I feel like it is based on everything I know. I feel like uh, there's a good synergy if yeah. you're, if you're mm -hmm. interested in politics. Um, if you want to know what's going on in the world. Uh, other than the world of drunk roast, uh, <laughs> check out check out okay. John's stuff because it's it's uh, it's good shit. Yeah, thank you. We, we we definitely have a perspective. Just be forewarned, but we try to yeah. be honest about it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, totally As objective. Everything's bad. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So, boy. Wow, Woo! campaign two. Um, what we are, it's it's been a long time coming, uh, and it's a little scary. It and uh, Well, Michael, that's why we have episode zero, so yeah, easy whatever we do it, here, you know? you know, it's fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, nothing bad can happen. Um, <laughs> there will be no consequences a, from this. This is a prologue, prelude sort of situation. Um, these are not going to be our new characters. Um, yeah, we they know. are in our new world, and it's not a new world. I mean, it is our, it is still drunk or oats. Um, and then we'll sidebar really quickly to explain that to John. John, we used to do a Game of Thrones <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yes, we did. Oh. Th three out, three out of three of us did. <laughs> Was it a review or a role playing in the world of Game of Thrones? Uh, a review. <laughs> review. Review. Yeah. That's I used what... to do a review show for Game of Thrones too. Oh, that's awesome. Seriously. What, what was yeah. it called? <laughs> Uh, it was on our our show, What the Flick, which we had. Oh, time. got it, got we, it. We did movie and TV reviews. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, we were this. like the second one ever. We were which very is early. Pretty yeah. much how how we got our That's audience. Awesome. Tim and I yeah. used to record on a rock band microphone yeah. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> I would hold it with like a sock or a glove or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, it was. It was so, so, you know, Westeros, ago. obviously, and our show used to be called Drunks and Dragons. So when we started and we didn't think the show was going to be big, 
we thought it'd be like, fu- uh-huh. funny <laughs> if we called it drunk roast, or maybe the audience did. Four hundred something yeah. episodes later, shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, so we're still in Drunk Roast. We are maybe not in a familiar area. Time has passed. We're not going to get into how much time has passed. We're going to leave it kind of vague and loose. Michael won't tell us. I won't tell you. It's a different situation. It's been like 15 minutes. It's been (laughs) (laughs) Really what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep it in our nice familiar world that which we love, but um, make it in a way where you can tell your friends, hey, the best place to jump on is... Uh, uh, campaign two, episode zero, or yeah. prelude, or whatever we're calling right. it. And if we mention something that you know is something that happened in campaign one, we'll hopefully uh, mention it as though it's just beautiful scene building. You know, it's not going to be like, oh, that thing everyone knows. Right, is. right, right. It'll either be something that people in the world wouldn't explain, and because of that, our characters just don't really find out, right? Or it will be like the white. Spire, the local mage guild. Right, right. Like that, so. But, um, okay. you know, it's it, we haven't done this for a while. I'm very excited. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Awesome. I mean, I feel like my feet hurt. Because <laughs> you're excited? Uh, you're stressed? Yeah, we'll, we'll say that. Well, so you're actually, you've got a foot doctor appointment. <laughs> Is it just the normal age broken bones? Yeah, I have I have bad but we don't need to get into that. <laughs> Not again. Not again. Okay, so let's let's get started, gang. Okay. Oh, and I'm gonna uh, just a little forewarning right now. We'll again. This is this is a fun part of having an editor and uh, Hi, David. and because uh, we get to cut stuff out. Um, and you know he likes challenge, like we said. So <laughs> I like to just cut in here as many times, get as many editor points as possible. Um, I am going to throw a little. Uh, I'm going to have you describe your characters, and then I'm going to just throw a little. What's what's uh, maybe a cool thing, or what's like the most heroic thing your character's ever done, okay. or just something that. <laughs> What would what, something that would you know help people sort of latch on to who your character is? Gotcha. Does that does that make sense to everybody? Good. The, the idea that yeah. it, I just want to, the idea that popped in my brain just then made me really happy. <laughs> the first thing that came in, and I'm like, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, so we are going to be uh, let's see, we're going to be starting in the city of Iron Cross. Mm. Iron Cross is it is it's a hard place, um, and it has to be because uh, it is the the last bastion of civilization before uh, before we head into the wildlands of the east. Um, with farmlands to the west and rich, dense forests to the north, the only thing stopping Iron Cross from becoming a true power in the political scene is uh, the, just the constant monster attacks from, from the wildlands to the east. Um, but Duke Cromwell uh, and his family have ruled over Iron Cross for the last 50 years, and the fierceness of the Cromwell army has not only kept the wilds at bay, but have even caused them to recede. Uh, and besides, besides his army, the Duke is also known for employing uh, trusted adventurers to deal with problems throughout his realm. And uh, and that's the story we're going to hear tonight. We're going to hear uh, a story about his his favorite group of adventurers. So let's go around our little circle here and have each of you describe your character, and then have the, and then tell us a little about them. Maybe about uh, something something heroic they've done in the past. Let's start with. Nika Howard. Uh, I was making eye contact. Could you tell? <laughs> her, her eye laser beams were going so strongly. <laughs> um, okay, so tonight I am playing Ratma Ritmo, Woo! and yeah, she girl. is a goblin rogue. Uh, she, you know, she just is a gal who likes to have a good time. She's not here for the drama. Um, she might tell you. Uh, you know, if she's got a problem to you, to your face. And her most heroic <laughs> moment was on the Drunk Roast Shore. She won the wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would die for Ratmo Ritmo. Thank I've been you. saying Ratmo Ritmo to myself, <laughs> muttering more likely <laughs> for months now. <laughs> um, well, let's go to Tim next then. 
Hey everybody, I am playing uh, uh, Durian Brexleyshire. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I just, there's just a lot of a name. Well, shut is, up. Is it a lot of a guy? <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't say that. Stinky fruit? No, it's spelled different, <laughs> listener. It's spelled the same. <laughs> uh, uh, he is a divine soul sorcerer, human divine soul oh. sorcerer. And, uh, you know, he's kind of bored with life because he can see the future a little bit, you wow. know, when you, when there's no surprises, the, the zest is there. Um, if to hear him say it, uh, the most heroic things he's done are, are very mundane. They're boring. He puts out a candle and he just mutters, well, he'd thank me later, uh, or shuts a door, uh, yeah. tell someone not to go to the market. You got you got Cassandra disease. Like you're yeah. saying shit, and people are like whatever. I know, but it's true. These these fools don't understand my genius and my divinity. But uh, the candle would have burned something down. That's yeah. What, oh yeah. That's oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to. Yeah. No. He he. In our world, in our lore, he stops the Great Chicago Fire. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> But no one even thinks him because it doesn't happen. Yeah, they didn't think yeah. him. And Chicago oh. sucks now because <laughs> they get burned down. Yeah. There's no Chicago. Uh, Jen Jennifer. Hello. I am got? playing a half elf fighter named Big Bo. Woo. And he's a really beefy half elf. And probably Big Bo's proudest and most heroic moment was when a. Um, a wagon full of miniature ponies was fording a river and <laughs> it broke and Bo had to wade into the river and pick the wagon of miniature ponies up and save them. <laughs> the wagon being pulled by very large men. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What is, sorry, I, I, and I didn't ask this for anybody, what does Big Bo look like? Big, Big Bo is a big old beefy dude. I'm going to be real with you he's essentially wearing like plate armor bikini situation Hell yeah. like he his 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 big uh uh i don't want to say breasts but man breasts. His, his huge pets <laughs> they're very big he's a big guy he's constantly getting hot and taking his shirt off um <laughs> yeah he's he's just he's a big dude he's he's his half elf he's got little cute pointy ears and yeah he's got i don't know Blonde hair, sure. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Durian Brexleyshire? Oh yeah, me. Yeah, uh, what does he look like? he uh, he freaking just kind of freaking uh, black curly hair. Um, sort of. You would think he's probably uh, a noble, but he's not. He's wearing sort of like white and gold robes um, with a, you know just a, a, a placid look on his face. A little bit of stubble. He's very attractive. Got it. Uh, the the goblin Ratma Ritmo. Uh, <laughs> Ratma Ritmo. <laughs> Ratma has long, um, <laughs> very shiny green hair um, that is, is slicked. Um, and she wears animal print <laughs> leather. Um, so she blends in very well at my at night and she always has on um, bright red lipstick and dark, dark uh, raccoon eyeliner. Um, it's a very classy look, very, yes, very classy. Crazy. Okay. Um, Mr. Bachman. I am playing Anvon Whispermouse. Uh, a stout halfling, very stout. If you imagine, um, like a, in a character creator, just like sliding height all the way down and like uh -huh. width all the way out, <laughs> <laughs> and like like one where they probably like Joe. should have put it in QA a little more. Um, <laughs> Tuna can. <laughs> yeah, little, little. Uh, he wields a, uh, he's a he's an he's an artificer for the most part. Uh, wields a uh, wields a sickle that's definitely like it's too being as short as short and wide it's too tall it's too big of a weapon mm -hmm. you have to hold it and the, the the you imagine the fulcrum you down that low it's hard to keep it straight like balancing a broom on your hand um <laughs> An anvon i would say anvon's proudest moment um was when he was he was tasked uh tasked by a local village 
to stop a group of bandits that were uh, that were terrorizing them. And when he caught them, he did not set them on fire. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm noble. Um, all right, John. Uh, my character is a mountain dwarf fighter named Luban Dola. And um, if there was something in your world like a Vine or a TikTok, he mm -hmm. would be one of the youngsters trying to become popular. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. nice. <laughs> I only Feats heard the first part of that. You said and... Vine, and I was like, there's Vines all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for like an uppercase Vine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It doesn't exist yet, but you can occasionally attract a crowd in a city, you know, with feats of strength, things like that. But yeah. honestly, growing up, like, it just, he was always compared to other dwarves who would do arm wrestling and things like that. So he decided, I'm going to make my name uh, breaking from the stereotypes. And so he picked up a bow and he's never looked back. Trick shots, those oh, sorts of things. Yeah. Uh... Um, but his most heroic action is probably uh when he once suspected that a candle was about to burn down the city and he put it out but from very far away wow. <laughs> damn excellent what a talented crew i hate them uh, <laughs> i mean that and that's like the, the one of the best Why? compliments i personally can give oh, do you okay. hate John's character? Do yeah, he wants to <laughs> I'm a fan of him, honestly. <laughs> Do it. I like him already. So we've got two characters that are that like to stop fires and one character mm -hmm. that likes to start fires. I expect a little bit of a little bit of you know, uh <laughs> We're a found family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I imagine we bicker sometimes about who stopped the most fires or <laughs> uh, maybe it's a little, maybe you shouldn't be praised for putting out a fire like that. That was a little showboating. And then, sure you save lives, but at what cost? And then when you get <laughs> too annoying with your arguing, Bo just picks you all up and dumps you into the water trough outside. <laughs> into the, the fountain in the middle of town. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. So, um, so Duke Cromwell's lands are are they're vast, uh, and there's always a problem somewhere. And uh, oh, let's know it. Let's overthrow Duke Cromwell, <laughs> right, Michael? We'll do that instead. Is that good? <laughs> is that good? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, you know, it's D and D. You can do whatever you want. No, we can't. It's one shot. You're <laughs> you're allowed to tell us no. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll kill. Stop me in G chat. <laughs> um. So this time around, uh, the problem is in the town of Still Glen, Still and Glen. Still Glen, and their problem is dire. A dragon has taken up residence in the nearby forest and has begun to uh, to harass this town. Uh, first, it was the farms on the outskirts, uh, but as each week passes, there are reports of the dragon hunting closer and closer to the city, and uh, and. Duke Cromwell has sent you there. Um, he's gonna pay you all, uh, all told together, a, a sum of gold that would be enough to found a small kingdom <laughs> to take care of this. Okay. 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 When you say the dragon is har is harassing and such, is it like the dragon is lit picking up goats and things and just carrying yeah. off with them? Or is he it just like you dress poorly? <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he oh, is, damn. he's eating um, uh, animals and people and burning Oh, people down too. And, ah, wow. And burning okay. things down. I mean, okay. peasants, you know. <laughs> he's burning. <laughs> they always make new ones. So yeah. It's yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so he, so the, we're, we're just going to skip over talking to the Duke and we're going to send you right over to Still Glen because again, it is one shot and I have. Over the course of nine years, learned a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Michael, we want to go shopping. <laughs> I want to was the nine years dude. mostly one conversation? Or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much. It's one standard week in, in, in world of time. I, to be, I to be say... fair, I do try and shorten conversations by making rash decisions. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true, that. actually. You're not helping. You, you are the one that, that speed the show along. That is absolutely correct. I say that as we're like two bullets into my notes and 21 minutes into recording. <laughs> Most so, is going to get cut out. David is, you know. 
Oh yeah. No, no, I know. We've got like a minute of, of <laughs> actual um, um yeah. So uh so your wagon, I'm gonna say you're in a wagon. I, I yeah. made that executive decision. Can we say carriage? Your carriage uh rolls out of iron cross chased by a gaggle of, of cheering children <laughs> waving their little wooden swords and and just praising you and, mm-hmm. and uh you know it's it's this is who you're doing this for i i let it. i make some of their swords glow whoa with, with magical <laughs> abilities i i was just gonna say that Bo sticks his, his head out the windows giving big time thumbs up to the kids or maybe if there's like a a, a sunroof a moon roof in the top. I stick my head out. Of it. If there's a sunroof, oh, well. Ratma is absolutely on Bo's shoulders. Yeah, um, I assume but... that Ratma's on Bo's shoulders a lot of the time. <laughs> uh, spraying champagne onto the children, right in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> kids love champagne it's the past they drink a lot <laughs> it's good yeah. for them. i don't have to call it champagne anymore i'll be um, blasting a large stream of fire out of a flamethrower over the kids <laughs> this is quite the carriage <laughs> are we good adventurers or just the loudest adventurers <laughs> you could say we've Hard got brand say. recognition <laughs> uh so the roads uh there is a road between here and iron cross uh or sorry yeah between iron cross and still glen um and they're well kept and you you don't have any issues um you make it uh you pass through farmland and uh it looks like it's it's gonna be a good harvest this year there's plenty of rain there's it's just green everywhere things are going okay um you make it to a traveler's inn on your first night and uh, you know, just having the Duke's seal, you know you'll get free room and board. Um, so uh, you are here. You get dropped off, or you're, I guess you could probably have a driver. Yeah, and, uh, 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 Gregory. Driver Gregory. <laughs> Gregory, um, we love Gregory. Michael. He's uh, covered in champagne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, like two hours outside the city, bees start like attacking. Him. And we're all like, "Oh, we love Gregory." And Gregory's like, "I." <laughs> Thank you so much. We're getting one star. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just take like, yield Uber. <laughs> you had no mints, dear. Um, so, so you head into the the tavern, and uh, and the, the barkeep goes, uh, w- "Welcome to Twin Yaks. What could I do for you?" We're gonna take your finest rooms we got these things from the duke and if you don't give us the finest rooms i am gonna punch you in your face <laughs> and i and i hope you have a big bed because i as you can see i'm a pretty big guy we're trying to get our dicks wet i don't say that i don't say that, I, I don't say that but i think it's funny to say so oh if the duke oh, i've gone into your ass <laughs> I'm just gonna go right. right. Oh my god, our accents are sinking. (laughs) Ah, hey, it's Ratma Ritmo, my old buddy. (laughs) You always punch me in the face no matter what. (laughs) You show me that Duke's thing a dozen times. Yeah, but here's the thing: this is the real one. These people, it's always they the real one. Okay. <laughs> no, you're not on the streets of Iron Cross anymore. We are respectable citizens. Are we? <laughs> Some of us are. Anyway, here you go. Here's the keys. It's your uh, the room. It's uh, uh, the um, room. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, could you? I need a really short but wide bed. Uh, <laughs> if you actually, if you were to just turn. A normal mattress sideways, that would be perfect for me. Uh yeah, we'll uh we'll we'll get that taken care of for you again. <laughs> this is the same request you guys make every single time you've I... ever been here. If we didn't have to make the room we wouldn't have to make the request if the room was already to our liking. It it, it literally is. <laughs> would you please? Leave me alone. <laughs> we just like annoy everyone until they're just like, fine, take whatever you're asking for. Just go away. Or infamous. 
All right, so you head up to your room. It is all to your liking. The bed has been turned. Uh... It's perfect, not to our liking, though. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> we're sleeping on two beds pushed together. <laughs> I was also, now I don't remember what it was, but someone uh, was jokingly calling it an Australian king instead of a California king, and it was five Californian kings together, and that's what I'm sleeping in. That's good. Uh, I want to go down to the main room. We don't even have to, like... Or, yeah, yeah. or anything and i want to uh try to woo people by telling their futures okay wow mm -hmm. uh durian wouldn't say that he's trying to get his dick wet that's crass but that is exactly <laughs> he's what he's doing way more classy what than is that? this character what do you do what what is happening um he's you know flirting no big deal he's a little flirty little guy yeah he likes the fire right. thing in life. Yeah, we're not going to RP that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but what if? Use your imagination, everyone. I do it. Uh, okay, cool. What does everyone else do? Um, I mean, I have to. I have to. I have to remake the bed because inevitably they put the sheets on like they were making a normal bed, <laughs> but you have to have the opening of the sheets on the yeah. wide side yeah. and nobody understands this. <laughs> uh, I, I would like to also circulate in the tavern. Uh, yeah. Not My objective is not genital based. It is. Um, <laughs> uh, I am feeling the temperature of the room for the level of information they have about two things. One, mm -hmm. the dragon, particularly mm -hmm. what type it is. And two, which of my trick shots they know. <laughs> this guy doesn't the worst doing... thing I can do is like doing the same trick. Mm -hmm. oh. okay, so I want to know their familiarity with the dragon and me. Um, roll, uh, roll me an insight check. Until this moment, I forgot about the dragon. <laughs> um, Michael, can I, uh, uh, uh aid Lubin? Um, I think yeah. I would be trying to neg him, but I would be absolutely <laughs> helping him on accident. Okay, yeah, you absolutely. So you get advantage on your, your insight roll. Thank you. Well, I, I will, I will point it. I actually, in my first role on your show, did oh, roll no, against that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice job. In that's the first role of campaign two, technically. That that was that's a good omen. That was supposed to be our thing. I'm very proud of you. I'm excited. It's a good <laughs> omen. Um, <laughs> as, uh, as you're, you're sort of scoping out the, the room, um, uh, a, a young man walks in and, uh, you're greeted by just sort of an acrid smell as he walks in the room. He's um, he has little stink lines coming off of him. Um, <laughs> he looks like uh, he looks slightly crispy, okay. and, uh, okay. and he just sort of sways and wanders over to the bar. Um, and uh, people seem concerned about him. Apparently, this is not a normal way for him to be acting. <laughs> Um, I assume by this point, Bo has come downstairs to get the largest beer possible at mm -hmm. the bar. And he is, is the guy like, does he come to the bar? Does he go to a table? Where, where does he Yeah, go? he goes right to the bar. He goes right to the bar. Uh -huh. Bo sidles up, gives him a big old slap on the back. I'm like, buddy, are you okay? He goes, I'm not okay. I, I just had a run in with the dragon oh hey guys this guy he met the dragon and survived it i barely walked away with my life well don't worry buddy because we're gonna deal with that that's why we're here everybody sort of starts crowding around to to hear hear what what this guy's saying uh he's it's the it was the most terrifying thing i've ever seen it ate my entire flock of sheep it came right out of the forest, and I've never seen anything like it. Does anyone have any thing they want to ask me about it, though? <laughs> <laughs> anyone, please? Seemed pretty no. depressing. So. Yeah, it seems self-explanatory to me. <laughs> what kind of dragon was it? Oh, shit, yeah, that. Uh, it was big. Well, what color What's dragon? It? Oh, uh, it was either <laughs> red or green. I get those two mixed up. Oh, Are God. you red, green, colorblind? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, does anyone want to give me like a, I don't know, some sort of knowledge based role, maybe a, a history or a nature? I don't, I'm not uh, you're bad. saying things I'm bad at. What about <laughs> like insight? I want to sense how about the person. Mm-hmm. Are they lying? <laughs> they're not. I'll tell you right now, they're not lying. What? <laughs> What about survival? Because I hope when we meet this dragon, we survive. <laughs> <laughs> I, r- I rolled a two anyway. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh, we died. Anyone, anyone want to roll? I'll roll a history. I five. forgot I have a good uh, skill in that. I don't know why I do. I super don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm cool. Close. I rolled a two as well. So oh, my God. That's an eight. I rolled a four. <laughs> I got- All right. Oh you're not God. sure. I mean, I guess I'm not going to roll. We've done a- we're mostly uh, fighting bandits in the light. No big deal. Uh, Fifteen nature. Fifteen Ooh, nature. Oh, there you go. Great roll. You uh, you believe that uh, based on your knowledge of, of dragons and what's going on with this guy, um, if it's between red or green, uh, he smells like uh, he has had a poisonous gas near him. Oh, uh, yeah. Would he be a green oh, dragon. He smells like green. Green. <laughs> he smells like green. Yes, well, uh, like... uh, just tell the Duke that uh, we told you to be compensated for the loss of your flock. The loss of my flock? Uh, yeah. I don't... I've never seen the Duke. Oh, <laughs> oh. I guess you can't just walk in there. Uh, <laughs> you told me to sell him the next time you see him? Sure, 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 sure. We'll probably forget. Write your, hey, write your name down. Uh, <laughs> Bo is, is not napkin. getting his flock back. There's no fucking <laughs> way. Bo <laughs> feels around in his pockets and pulls out a, a crumpled yeah. receipt. Does anybody have a pen? <laughs> <laughs> he just makes a big X on it and hands it back to you. We got okay. it, buddy. We got okay. you. Well, uh, let's get this man a drink or five. He seems to deserve it, right? Right? Of course. All right. Ratma goes and gets shots for everyone. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That's Doubles. not really the oh, shit. The dour move. What what kind of uh, a liquor does Ratma bring us? Um, is there like a version of Everclear? <laughs> just a grain alcohol. Yeah, just yeah. a real harsh what grain alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Be a little blind, but um, yeah. Okay, so you uh you uh where's your farm? Oh, it's over just on the outskirts of, of, of Still Glen. Cool. Um, and uh, if you have a map or something like that, he can point at Yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that. He does that. Um, like, I actually did do a history roll. If there's still anything <laughs> left. I, I got a 16. Great roll. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, I think I think that's pretty much all. Like, you okay. know that it's Green Dragon just one more than Dragon's roll. Poison. <laughs> Do, do we know anything for the nature? Do we know anything about, like, do they tend to, like, wander? Do they tend mm. to, like, hunker down in one area and keep a certain territory? Yeah, like a lair. Yeah. yeah, so they tend, green dragons tend to be um, on the sort of more cunning end of, oh, really? of dragons. Mm. Yeah, they're uh, they're on the smarter end of things. Um, they, uh, they will definitely, um, you know, use trickery and cunning um when when possible and, and, They'll kill and, you. and things like that I'm, They'll yeah, kill they'll you. Sure I'm in trouble they're not nice <laughs> they're mean as a snake <laughs> sneaky as the dickens um, all right and we've never quite fought a dragon before this can be really big for us and lubin i know you're so good at shooting arrows whatever <laughs> uh, uh my thing let us have let us all do something. I mean, make it come down so that Bo can hack at it. Yeah, let me you. use my war pick on it. I'll, I'll miss a time or two. Thank you. Um, but I, 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 I turn to the man. I obviously not to put anything on you. Terrible tragedy, losing <laughs> your sheep. Not a tragedy for the dragon. He's probably eaten better than ever before. That's but true. For Good. you, it's okay. a tragedy. That said, has there been anything in the region, the movement of soldiers, other adventurers, anything that might have antagonized this dragon? Look Do you at this guy enemies? over here. He's got all the good questions. He's so smart. <laughs> Do you have any enemies? Uh, Ricky. Yeah. He, uh, he's got another farm. He sells okay. sheeps 
So, um, so, so far, our, our, our Ricky could have done it. Uh, and yeah, what about the uh, the adventurers or armies and things like that? Ricky too, or? Uh, no, Ricky is more of just another. He's a rival shepherd. Mm. I probably he he doesn't have anything to do with the track. I have oh, an idea. No, his sheep haven't gotten eaten. I have an idea. Oh. Okay. It, it, it really it involves is Ricky, Ricky sheep. Green. <laughs> where's ricky's farm um, he points in the map again oh okay right next to us that son of a bitch let's go <laughs> kill ricky no we're not killing him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the definition of scope creep <laughs> there be nothing left of this town yeah um so i i huddle the rest of the team all right all right all right sure one farmer's flock devastated that's bad but two farmers flocks devastated the the duke will have to come in and do something about it so i say we go to this ricky fellow and make his his little sheep the most delicious little sheep to a little dragon ever ambush boom baby bro i don't think the duke's gonna be happy about that he what what's worse 30 sheep or one dragon we Wait, can the, we can get more sheep I yeah, got a sheep guy. <laughs> He's sheep. half sheep, half guy. <laughs> I know. There's children. I know um, some sheep that fell off the back of a truck. They'd be very easy to get. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, but what if he's like attached to his sheep though? And they're like, oh, he's gonna hate it. We will. Yeah, we will have to lie to Ricky. Um, so maybe give him some some golds. Maybe um, you know, things of that nature. And, I'll take him out on this again. Oh, it's a I know. I'm picking up Rat Marimba's accent. You <laughs> tell me why he's picking hey. me so fucking. <laughs> Normally, I would suggest poisoning all the sheep, but we probably, if these green dragons are tricksy, like you mentioned, uh, then they need to be hale. They need to be hearty. They need to be delicious. Um, you do know that the one the, uh, that was the other thing I was going to drop in there. They are uh, immune to poison and uh, oh. the poisoned status. So yeah, we we make the Ricky sheep look delicious and uh, things of that nature. Then when uh, this dragon fellow comes in very hungry, we get him. Kind of do like a like a breadcrumb situation. Lead the sheep, lead him to. Us. I just didn't want to run around in the forest for days. That sounds awful. Also, dragons already eaten a lot of sheep. A dragon that's eaten a ton of sheep that's might true. be sluggish. That's true. Maybe perhaps a little bit slower yeah. in the air, we, a little bit less maneuverable, maybe. Well, that's yeah. a good point. He did just eat, so maybe he's not hungry again. We could also try Shit. and kill him before he eats the sheep. Uh, yeah. Um, We'd be quick. <laughs> yeah, but I think Logan had a good point about the, the lethargy. He won't he'll be, be so slow. Him. He won't be able to eat the sheep before we kill him. <laughs> <laughs> but if he eats a lot of sheep, if every sheep he eats, the slower he will be. It's a it's a bell curve, you see. Maybe you'll even fall asleep. He will fall asleep. It's a bell curve, so if he eats a lot more sheep, he gets faster. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. It's a... Uh... The first ones he eats, he's, he has calories to yeah, burn. It's just he's carbo loaded. Yeah, it's just how the dragon um, metabolism works. It's the yeah. dragon yeah. horseshoe theory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right I'm going to get a white bird and we need to unpack this. <laughs> That's my bad, my bad. Is the farmer listening to all of this insane <laughs> strategizing? <laughs> we seem like sociopaths. Um, our backs are to him. We're not whispering. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like shaking. He's like, yeah, here. <laughs> Sounds about right. All right, so the plan then? Go to Ricky's. <laughs> Wait, so yeah, so how do we even like, I guess how often... Maybe we should ask like Turn how to often. Turn the farmer. Farmer, what's any other uh, attacks? Any other attacks on uh, you sheep fellows? Yeah, when was the last time before this that the dragon showed up? Uh, I try to, it was a. Uh, he attacks every uh, every other day. Well, that's really convenient. I can work yes, with this. Great. Just chill out. Okay, yeah. so um, we can go to any... brunch tomorrow, and then we go to Ricky's the day after. What if we brought lunch to Ricky's? What? Oh my god, and then we could do it al fresco. Yeah. I heard so much about that. 
Uh, as a backup, if Ricky won't play ball, I don't know what your craft's abilities are, um, but we have a goblin and we have a rotund halfling. Yeah. A little bit of white fabric. Oh, that's so From true. a distance, you've got a sheep yes. that you can control. Yes. That's okay. true. And perhaps it bleeds okay. with an accent. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, like maybe back. You guys were like amongst the sheep. And, and, and then you're there and the dragon swoops down and you're like, God. And yeah. Ratmo, you're one of the most famous performers on certain areas <laughs> yeah that's very true i got a stage act that will knock your socks off <laughs> it is not um it is not advice for anyone with heart issues <laughs> you got a tight well, 15 and you got a screenplay <laughs> that you're trying to get somebody to read <laughs> but this, this seems like a well god damn we have a plan well, let's operate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, you turn in for the evening. Um, and, as uh, uh, as uh, as Anvon um, goes to leave the main area of the bar, glasses and steins and or and uh, appetizers fall off of him from all the people who mistook him for a table. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like thinking about what this character looks like. Can I say that? It gives me a headache. I, I just yesterday rewatched the Tombs episode of X Files with this really stretchy guy, and this is like the opposite of that. <laughs> He's squished down. Yeah. That's the whole thing they find him because oh the God. fingerprint is really long, and this one is like really short. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, yeah, so then uh, you have you you retire, and then it's the next day, and I guess you head to Ricky's. We go to Ricky's. Yeah, after getting lunch, yeah. like we go yeah. get to it. Go. We take it to yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like Alfresco. Yeah, we okay. get brunch. It's three p.m. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We stayed up celebrating our good idea last night. <laughs> I want to die. Um, all right, so you so you went, you go, and you get a lunch. From somewhere in Still Glen, I guess mm -hmm. it's a small, smallish yeah. town. It's it's like it's Do not a have... city; it's a town. Do they have um, like a first, have... a, what, no? a first watch? A what now? A first oh. watch, Cracker Barrel <laughs> situation. Uh, they have a they have a few taverns. They have a general store. They've um, got they got street meats. Anyone selling street? They, street meats? Yeah, there's street meat. There's I can throw a goat, honestly. Anyone else? <gasps> yeah. Yes. <laughs> throw that lamb talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite hungry. Um. Yeah. So. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> Let's bring a whole bunch of mutton brunch. As <laughs> Genocide. And then we food. smell like meat, and then the dragon will come. That's true. You yeah. two. Yeah. You two eat extra muttons, yeah, please. You don't stop. Yourself in it. Keep eating. <laughs> You deserve it, and wipe your napkins on them. <laughs> what? What are you? What are you bringing to Ricky? I mean, I guess do we have? I'm assuming we have like money. Here. I assume Michael. I, I assume you have money. Yeah, you've got. You can get whatever. I give him a little bag of gold. Ratma brings him not the most recent, but the second most recent issue of Drunk Arose Weekly. Mm. <laughs> like People <laughs> Weekly, all of the tabloid trash. I thought you were bringing him lunch. <laughs> Okay, we are. Oh, but yeah, we yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, we did that. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, we I did thought that, you meant like our like personal gifts, so I picked a personal gift. We're the wise men. <laughs> I bring Mert. <laughs> and Von brings glad tidings. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Loves it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm, um, I, I almost said sheep eggs and uh, sheep eggs? that's not a thing. I have a bad headache. <laughs> well, technically it is a thing. They're just hard to get. There's, that's true. Yeah, uh -huh. they're just like in so there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we bring um we're gonna bring a fancy new uh donkey. Okay. <laughs> the new, newest <laughs> model. <laughs> Yeah, a donkey Prius. Okay, it's, yeah, this donkey is so fresh and like is honestly, a there's a baby, baby donkey. Huh? No, is it, a baby it can't donkey? be a baby. It has no, to no. Be like fresh like a baby, but fresh like this donkey. Like, it, cool. just it just graduated. It, to I was gonna say it just graduated <laughs> from donkey school. <laughs> <laughs> it went to donkey college. And yeah, it's graduated. It, it's it's graduated out, with honors from donkey college. It got out of donkey cotillion. <laughs> And I imagine we are bringing him in my mind is the donkey, and the donkey is care like 
like maybe around his neck or on his back as a gift basket mm -hmm. with oh, a Harry and, and David. Treats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I, uh, I famously because we've known each other for a long time, am from a small town. Um, mm. But you know that I'm often wrong about what I think small town people want because I've, I've, I am no long, I am not Jenny from the block. I, You're, I you, yeah, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not like that anymore. Yeah. Like, I don't care that he's not a farmer. He will like the donkey. I don't, what do you mean? <laughs> Farmers love he's going to love a donkey. There is definitely for those playing along at home, there is this sort of clock ticking behind me <laughs> that uh, when it hits zero, a dragon is coming. <laughs> 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 a dragon will get here. It is a one shot. That's fair. So, okay. So what what the players are doing here is they're running out the clock. No, we're not. <laughs> they right, go to Ricky's. Stall long we bring... I have to just throw a dragon at them. We bring a uh, uh, delicious food, uh, yeah. a um, uh, uh, a somewhat thankful bribe, and a donkey. And assurances that we will replace any sheep that are lost. Mm -hmm. In yeah. this, do we like explain to him? Whoa. John's done. He's like, gone. Nice work, guys. John's like, oh, a clock's ticking. I'm out. Fuck this. <laughs> He's like, my <laughs> clock expired a long time ago. Oh, Tim, you're at my house apparently in the chat. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Do you have a glass? I don't know where I put it. I had it. So Twitch, how's everyone doing? Are you doing well? G Galen is having trouble trying to draw in Vaughn. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, just draw him, him normally and turn him sideways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, are you saying he's not short short and wide? He's just on his side permanently? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He just walks like this. Yeah, I hope John comes back. I can't believe he was here when I, before me. That was yeah, shocking. He, yeah, he was... He was uh, White punctual. Hmm. Um, Do we have like a cheat chat somewhere with him or something? Can we start it? No. Oh. Hoping. Do we have a way to get? Well, I mean, he's got the link, mm -hmm. right? He's got yeah. the link. Yeah, I, I just I don't know if he needed to contact us to be like my internet or freaked out or whatever. Right. But how would he get to us? How did he has no internet? Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, there we go. Welcome oh, back. Computer just crashed. I have no idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, 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 like just, I feel like maybe it's because you're recording with us. Because I feel yeah, like we often do this. It's never done that before. I apologize. I, maybe I it's because we I'm got you to download a several gigabyte program. Right <laughs> maybe you your computer angry. <laughs> I'm just using that time to have a behind the scenes conversation with Ricky. We've got our whole own thing going on now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, you get to Ricky. Are you? Uh, do you have your um, audio going again, or was that oh, the yeah. culprit? I'm uh, not sure, but I will the culprit. load it up. And if it happens again, I will switch to uh, my indoor computer. Apologies. Yeah, no, no, worries, no, no, no. no. We're, uh, yeah, and again, we have um, not like not a backup, but yeah, uh, another. That's why you know it's not the end of the world. Okay. Yeah, I think it's recoverable, time, yeah. and I am. Yeah, I still see it. Sick. If you want Hugo to do art of your character really fast, make him a weird size and shape. <laughs> <laughs> That's, so That's so true. That's so true. already working you on. Have some. Yeah. Hugo, drop, drop that link. Let's see that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am recording again. Sick. Nice. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so you you make it to uh... Gregory to Ricky's. No, I don't know where it is. Go, <laughs> get going. Gregory takes you to Ricky's, and uh, you're there. What do you say to Ricky? Hello, hello, good sir. Hello. My friends and I. Well, there's no easy way to say this, but we're gonna need to use your sheep for a trap. <laughs> Uh, as long as it doesn't have anything to do with that dragon, uh, no problem. Ooh, it doesn't well, yet. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take your sheep. If the dragon's I'm probably sorry? gonna eat him. <coughs> oh my god. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rat was just like, I imagine that Rat was like actively baby. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> you, you see, for the good of the realm, right, 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 uh, this mean old dragon has been eating peoples and other sheeps. So we're going to uh, sacrifice, uh, bad term, uh, your sheep in order to oh. save some humans. And we will give you, jiggle, 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 uh, this gold and this donkey. Look at this donkey. Isn't it great? We've also <laughs> brought brunch. <laughs> Who would like to roll a persuasion? Ooh, me, me, oh, I'm charisma. God. I'm a sorcerer. Ooh, Let me do it. I have plus eight. I'm plus You're eight. You're plus eight? I look, yeah. What the fuck? Everyone's uh, Rama. I want somebody. I have plus nine. Okay, Somebody right, fine. help. Fine. I, I, somebody help Tim. Why do I always have charisma? What is this? I got oh, plus. Fuck, I rolled a one, so I got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't have a d20. No, you're just uh, you're Durian. just giving Tim's, uh, you're giving a uh, Durian a advantage. A uh, uh, no, you don't. uh, uh, oh, okay. 23. Well, if it's gonna, if it's gonna help the realm, and all right, and you're gonna give me the gold and the donkey? Yeah, look it, in the lunch. Um, look, I got the, the, the Duke will, uh, 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 reimburse you. Sorry, sorry, Ratmo, what was that? Oh. <laughs> I imagine just like coughing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I got this drunk girls weekly for you. <laughs> I, I read that one last last week though. Well, there's a new one. It's weekly. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Your this name's on it. Week. If you said last week, there's a new one. Not important. But, but she specifically brought the one from last week. <laughs> oh, I, I missed that part. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was arguing with about a donkey man. Um, um, so you stay indoors if you have a cellar or something yeah. like that. Get into it. Yeah, you should probably stay at or if you and your family. And hey, underground. Do you have yeah, a he... dragon shelter? <laughs> <laughs> he heads to his root cellar. Ooh, hell yeah! So, so how do we want to? Like, is it that some of us will be waiting in the, like, slightly out of sight, mm -hmm. while some of our party is dressed as sheep? I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm actively sticking cotton balls all over my body. Yes. I mean, <laughs> am I, I feel like the ranged two of us don't have to look like sheep, but maybe the melees out sheep. there should dress like sheep. Why not? I'm going to be the <laughs> biggest sheep. <laughs> <laughs> like, bah, bah. <laughs> Places, yeah. people. Places. I'm huge. <laughs> Bipedal sheep holding melee weapon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a no sheep can, can resist. Um, so what are so are there actual sheep? Yes. Huh? Yeah, they're actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're like we're, out in the field. We're, we're in the, out in the field. Yeah. You've you've set it up so that you're some of you are hiding within the group of sheep. What's the group of sheep called? Flock? flock? I think it's the flock. flock? Right? Oh, yeah. Gaggle yeah. within the flock. A murder. A murder. Yeah. A murder. A murder <laughs> They're about to be a murder sheep. Um, no, Michael. Oh, yeah, that's two murders. Uh, all right. And so. Uh, Loba, do you think these trees are good? You, you get in there, you put some. Uh, yeah, so I definitely see myself being in a tree, but. And just g give me a second to explain. I see myself dangling. Below a branch, really. Okay. Like, so in a okay. tree to make it easier to hide, dangling right. to make it more impressive. And I yes. think I can hold that for a few minutes. Okay. Like upside down dangling? Upside or... down, yeah. Oh. I've got wow. a pretty good core. I think I can hold it. <laughs> like a uh, cartoon I... possum. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cast Minor Illusion to try to, you know, um, um, be accidentally be your cameraman. Like something like this. And it's just, it's basically a small version of you hanging down from like your with your legs wrapped around or is it a, a rope um around your uh, tummy wrapped around but but a branch that's like not quite thick enough and so it's quite droopy okay like, <laughs> back on the ground. it's true if it bounces that will give you a little more um uh, uh, credence and and, and and clout okay mm -hmm. i'm just gonna go into the farmer's house or whatever you call them and uh then if I hear Wiki? a scuttle, I'll come out. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, so you're you're waiting. 
Uh, you're you're waiting. You're hoping. For this yeah, on Amon, Ritma, and Bo are just like bah, <laughs> out with the <this> shit. <laughs> uh, Michael, I am yeah. casting uh, Presidigitation, mm-hmm. and I'm picking the uh, 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 harmless sensory effect, such a, and I'm picking odd odor, and oh, that yeah. odor is so. I feel like dragons are like sharks, right? Sure. So They've you know, got a really great oh sense no, of smell from miles yeah, and miles away. Exactly. Oh no this it's sheep's blood <laughs> okay um Not is anyone lot. is anyone like uh proficient in survival uh i think i am no yeah i've got yes. yeah i am yeah yeah i am okay so who's ever whoever wants to one of you can help somebody else and you can essentially set a dragon trap oh, with your hell, prestidigitations yes, and yes, whatnot oh um so, so somebody can roll for that who has, uh, with, i have a plus five to survival What's i got else? plus four plus five uh uh john take it yeah, away take, yeah, take, the, yeah. The can, and then we can uh assist. roll for dragon trap with advantage please okay I like our trap. <laughs> so 12 and a 13. Oh, well, but plus five. Plus Woo-hoo! five. Okay. 17 and 18. Um, Michael, I also would like to, in preparation, summon a wildfire spirit. But <laughs> I will. Oh my God, I forgot. I'll... <laughs> I will also dress that as a sheep as closely yes. as I can. <laughs> wow! Is it on fire? I well, like cotton ball yes. blast on one of yeah. those. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah. This this is this is a it does to, for all intents and purposes look like a flaming sheep. <laughs> I could cast um, minor yeah. illusion to make it look like it's like a spit, you know? In uh, your, yeah, in your that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Teamwork. Um, so you're waiting. You're waiting for what feels like ever. It. I'm uh, I'm going through their shit. It's if they have any like brandy or whatever. You're going through Ricky stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm adding it to the IOU. Wow. Uh, Ricky has like he's got all these awards for being like the best sheep farmer and stuff. The sheep herder. Mm. Sheep hus- husbandry. I guess is what uh, called. Yeah. Um. Mm. Yeah. He's got best sheep award. Okay, all those okay. things. Yeah. Oh, yikes. Um, and uh, yeah, dusk dusk is settling, and you're worried that this this is just not going to work out when you hear mm-hmm. a shriek on the wind. Yes. And did someone rip ass? <laughs> <laughs> not me this time. Okay, I think that might have been a dragon then. <laughs> um, and uh, and you see. You see a dragon coming. You see a dragon flying towards you. Let's all roll a stealth. Let's oh, see if you okay. can. Uh, Michael, this is my time to shine. Michael, I'm inside a house. <laughs> Michael's back. Um, I'm not rolling. You're not rolling, but you're not going to get a surprise round either. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. I got a 30. Oh, that's really Whoa! That's really, that's really high. Holy shit. <laughs> Michael, since we haven't rolled initiative yet, is it too late to touch one of the cotton balls on Ratmo and make it stink real bad? <laughs> it sounds horrible. I, I, for, two, for what purpose? <laughs> I, so maybe the dragon will go after Ratmo before me. I'm on your head. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can do that. Okay. One of those cotton balls stinks real bad. Oh, okay, great. I got a two on my stealth check, though. Ooh, <laughs> sticky. I got a 17 stealth check. Oh, three. Three. I got plus one. <laughs> uh, I'm at an 11. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that uh, based on, the only person who would have succeeded was Ratmo, but... <laughs> <laughs> the dragon was immediately no! <laughs> zoned right in. The snake! <laughs> and, uh, the snake gave and... her away. Did Ruined you just me. give us enough rope to hang ourselves? How dare you? I can't believe and, this uh, happened let's, again. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. Yeah. Yay. You have a, a it's really big funny old dragon. Playing my character after playing a rogue because mine is just so low now. <laughs> I'm so high. Oh, I, I got a nat like, 20 though. I got a nat 20. What? What? Guys, this is a. This is such a I got a two. Which I makes got sense. a 14. Uh, five, Michael. 
And uh, a 12 for me. 12. And 21 and... for me. Big Bo got a 21. What did Nico, what did you get? 14. <clears throat> and at Anvon? Huffman? Uh, oh, so yeah, 21 total. 21. Ooh, who's going first? Big Bo or Anvon? Ooh. Ooh. You guys need uh... to choose. I'll go, I mean, I'll go second, unless you okay. want to, really want to go first. No, because I imagine if, if, if Ratman's going first, I imagine that Ratman and I naturally fall in line together with Ratman, then like maybe on my shoulder, and so we can just like, yeah bah, together. Well, no, Ratman's second to last. Oh, well, never I mind. did not roll well. Well, shit. What the fuck? What? Um, alrighty. Well, uh, so I'm gonna say about 150 feet away from you is fly. Oh, that's too far. No, it's not. That's fine. 160 <laughs> feet away from you is a dragon that is flying right at you. And what did I roll for its initiative? And be sure to take all your armor off your character sheet what? and, and oh. look up sheep. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I shan't. Um, all right. Well, Big Bo is up first. Big Bo is 160 you feet away. Did you Dragon add any ranged away? things to your character? No. <laughs> Give yourself like a javelin or something. I don't think you'll be able to hit it. But... Yeah. Okay. No, that's probably too far. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. real far that's away. That's real far. Yeah. You can't do anything this turn. Right? Yeah, I don't think I can do anything. Unless you can run in the air. I had no, spell I... sniper for how long? And this is. The... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it's... You can take the defensive action or whatever it's called. What does that do? Uh, advantage on saves and plus... I have no fucking idea. Why did I suggest it? Um, <laughs> it it's like it they have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. I mean, that's I believe. Like, that sounds about right. Sure, Something I like, like that. that. That sounds great. Dodge is what it's called. Ah, okay. Then then I will, I will dodge and I'm... And you make dexterity saving throws with advantage. Michael, uh, I want our sheep friends to be spread out. I know we're going fast. Spread out. Spread out amongst the fake sheep. Oh, they're running. Oh, well, okay, well, I, I'm just, I'm talking for Oh, you're talking about your own friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. us spread if, out, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> That's cool. Got it. So that you can't have, you have a dragon breathe on you all at once. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Um, all Unless right. it's too metagamey based off of No, I think we would have. I think no, you would have. That would make sense that we would be scattered throughout mm -hmm. the flock. Uh, Anne von Whispermouse. Uh, <laughs> so, so given that uh, um, given that the uh, dragon is so far away, uh, I'll probably whisper to um, mouse. <laughs> whisper to Ratmo uh, above it. I'd be, be like, I know you. I know you stink real bad, but just. <laughs> Just hold steady and we'll we'll get him. And that's uh Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> oh, I know you smell so bad, but You look real stinky. <laughs> you look like shit. In a positive way. <laughs> Des all right, despite all the things against us, we <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Um So now you're so you're within five feet of Ratma, got it. Well yeah, it wasn't Ratma like Ra yeah, I was Ratma's the, the head. Oh. I'm all the, back. The sheep. Uh, oh, and and yeah, yeah, and then Big Bo's just a sheep on his own. And then um, I will uh, create an Eldritch Cannon. Uh, if a flame a flamethrower, also on my back. Okay. That's a, a artificer thing. Yeah. Okay. Does it do anything, or you just make it? It will. Make it? I make well, it. you'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it is the turn of the dragon. Uh, it flies 80 feet towards you. And uh, so it is now 80 feet away. And it is going to... God damn it. Why did I... Why did I make could have made it twenty feet closer? <laughs> Look at that, Michael. God damn it. Well, well, now well. who's the Ricky? <laughs> um but it is going to uh it is going to use its frightful presence and Ooh. I'm gonna say everybody but Durian 
Uh, you're going to have to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> Artificer druid bards have <laughs> wisdom um. in space. <laughs> okay. A wisdom saving? Wisdom saving throw. 13. Good roll. Seven. Good roll. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's an 11. Oh, that's that. Well, that's a six. Oh, Ooh. oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Right. No, that's not going to help. We barely knew Sheep Squad. I mean, Sorry. I have a thing that helps gonna me. It's going to hide in the house. Saving like, throw. I guess I might as well, right? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll reroll it. it. But, OK, the thing is, though, that I have to use the second one. So it might be even I mean, worse. Um, if somebody's or, really close, I can. Uh... It's, it was worse. It was worse. The second one was worse. <laughs> I rolled a three the second time. <laughs> Who's wait? So if somebody somebody th feels like they're really close, I can use Flash of Genius and give you a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a seven, you know, Michael. No, I think. Two. So, all of you. Oh no. All of you uh, have uh, become. I used my reaction to give me a plus one. <laughs> what what's that, going what on does that out put there? you at what does that put you at 14 all of you <laughs> i'll just check that box can't do that again have <laughs> become frightened a frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight you cannot mo willingly move closer to the source of fear That's bad. oh wait i have advantage against being frightened sick because you, you yourself are a horrid little thing. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Ooh. You, uh, you succeed. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> can't scare Ambon. I'm protected by all these cotton balls. You can't scare me. <laughs> Stinky cotton balls. <laughs> all right. Um, so then we will next go to Ratma Ritmo. You are... <laughs> frightened you okay. may not move towards this dragon that is 80 feet away from you <laughs> in the sky I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> flying of Anmon, so away. i think i'm just gonna stay there um is there anything uh is, is there anything i can do do you have a bow and arrow no <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, probably. you, you probably do will. add it to your character sheet you can add it to your character sheet I, I, it's One fine. michael shut up oh it, wait it, I, I do i'm sorry i do and it's 80 80 feet okay yeah Perfect. i'm gonna pew pew you have a disadvantage okay that's your opinion. Well, i rolled a four for the first one you missed. Well, remember to add your d4 or whatever your bardic no i think is i shan't that was well i don't know that was that okay a four plus eight that'd be a 12 plus six i could hit i'm gonna do that do i have to roll anything for uh to be frightened like a saving throw at the, end. at the end okay so i could save that and then use bardic inspiration on that if i need that i'm gonna do that i, I see that that's smart all okay. right you you fire but um you're a 12 so, you're so freaked out that uh you doesn't completely hit. miss um go ahead and make that wisdom saving throw in your turn Oh my god! I rolled a five. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste the d6. Yeah. So I got a five. I don't have anything. It's a plus zero. Okay. Yeah, you're still terrified. So I am like uh, wetting myself on your back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luban. Um. Do we? So I wasn't in the group. How? Oh yeah, what, yeah. What do you think the distance is from my drooping branch? <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, that could be that could be up to you. To some Probably degree. seventy-five feet away. What with being at least five feet off the ground. You know? <laughs> at least. Okay. Well, for a longbow, I think that would be well within then. So I'm frightened. Oh, yeah. yeah, you are frightened. Yep. So, so you'll I am advantage. frightened. Sorry. Okay. Um. So, just shooting it isn't going to be nearly impressive enough, and I want to use this fear so i'm going to do a uh let's see a distracting strike against okay. it well assuming i even hit i'm gonna try um see. uh no with that six i'm probably not even gonna need to roll the second one That's well what's your miss. what's your uh uh it's a um, plus 10 on the longbow I could the, other, the other roll would be a one 
So 11, actually. <laughs> so maybe I do need to roll the second one. John, you've been yeah. riding with us. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, I shot the arrow straight down into the ground, actually. <laughs> He's like, anybody see that? Um, Look, you all have never seen a dragon before. This yeah. is uh, yeah. It's gonna it's, rattle you. Know, you. It's uh, the first does. moment in an intense battle. It's scary. Yeah, I've read about them, but they did not prepare me. That's true. Uh, so I, I do attack twice. Okay, attack. great. Okay, so the second one, that's the one as well. <laughs> wow. I'm very frightened, okay? Yeah, it's so big. Scary. It's very so scary. Big. <laughs> and my teammates are all sheep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, you do get to make a uh, wisdom saving throw at the end of your turn. Okay. So hopefully, shake wisdom. that beer. Fifteen. That is so close, but it okay. does not quite do it. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, then let's go to. Durman. Actually, could I use my indomitable, my once per long rest, to yeah. redo a saving throw that I failed? Absolutely. I'm gonna try that. I don't have great odds, but. Uh, Twenty. Ooh. With the plus one, you uh, you are no longer afraid. You've shaken the fear. All right, okay. Now Durian Brexleyshire. That's me, <laughs> uh, Durian Brexleyshire, the level ten divine sorcerer. You hear Greek? Open window. See the uh, freaking <laughs> dragon guy, and you just see <laughs> a huge fireball come out of the yes. house. Um, <laughs> And I cast Fireball. Can you give me a deck saving th throw on our new friend, the dragon, please, Michael? Oh, I'd love to. Ooh, how does a dirty 20 do you? You son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I think I get half damage. Yeah, so probably right. I rolled on DD Beyond, which does go against everything I believe. Yeah. And if my computer doesn't crash. Okay, so mm -hmm. that is 27. And then I guess half as much, right? So whatever half of 27 is, no one knows. Who could yeah, say? Scientifically no one. Thirteen. Uh, um, Thirteen fire damage as I cast it from the hoose, uh, and I'm good in here as far as I'm concerned. Let me see if I have any boner actions. I do. Ah! Nope, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. All right. Uh, top of the round. Let's go to Big Bo. So, how far is the dragon away? Right the dragon is now eighty feet away, and you cannot move closer to it. You can jump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean for when I for me carrying Remo? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can. You can. Yeah, you can move towards it. Car well, you okay. can be my steed <laughs> right. and throw me onto Bo. Bo was supposed to be my steed, and now here yeah, I am on Bo's the on the tunic right man. Throw yeah. Yeah. So, so I do. Um, it does make sense that I would have a spear to throw, but I can't. The range, it's too that's far. So far. It's yeah. 60. 60 at most. Piss. Um, and I think that's 60 is with disadvantage. So if you could run into the. F that well, you can't run closer to it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I just roll to be not scared? Yep, or that's slash... the end of the turn, though. Yeah. Dude, so you can take the dodge action again. Yeah, the dodge again. And then, yeah. Okay. So roll, uh, roll wisdom saving throw. Do good. I'm gonna already God use this. my thing. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Woo. That's 19. Woo. You succeed. Okay. Bo, Bo basically oh. just goes like, slaps itself in the face a few times. <laughs> and then it's like, Wah! I'm ready to go. Nice. All right. And Vaughn. Uh, and Vaughn is going to. So, how far away is the dragon? 80 Who's... feet. Oh, my God. 86 okay. feet for you. That's <laughs> no. true. And Vaughn yeah, is. Yeah, because uh, you are farther, farther away. <laughs> You're very low to the ground. <laughs> probably going to hold hold, hold fast where I am. Um, the Wildfire Spirit is going to. Uh, <laughs> one of one of the. Sh <laughs> Wait a minute. So the sheep is still made to look like a sheep on a spit? Uh, no, well, it's not a concentration, so sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, Michael, did you roll initiative for every single one of the flock of sheep? What have you been doing? So, so this uh, the sheep that looked like it was uh, it was getting prepped for dinner uh, is going to um, slide along the ground like this is Gary's mod apparently um, <laughs> towards the dragon. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
trying to look at the, the rules. Do I have to, like... You're good. Actually use an action to move him once I've summoned him? It's you... It, Oftentimes for things like that, it's a bonus action slash you can use your movement. I have no idea which for this one. Okay, that's um, what like some of the other things are. Yeah, so it's speed thirty. It's gonna it's gonna move thirty feet. Um, I don't think it has anything that can cover the rest of that distance. Um, okay. So wait, it's how far away? Eighty, and you know it's coming. It's coming next. Oh yeah, no, I I can actually. Um, we had also ready actions, which. Probably should have told Jennifer, but or yeah, Jennifer. I've got a. Um... And Michael, we didn't ask this before. Is he, I assume he's not coming straight down at us. So no. if you get out your protractor, it, we can figure oh, out no. how far we have to run. No, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's somehow always eighty feet, no matter how close we get underneath him. Uh, so so he's gonna run up thirty feet, do a flame seed. Uh, it's a ranged weapon attack. Um, I don't know why I always do this to myself. Uh, 17? Uh, 17 does not hit. Ooh. Okay, it's going to start a small fire behind him. Um, and then I will use... A real, a real sheep runs by... Uh, <laughs> all aflame. <laughs> um, I will do scorching ray, uh, and we're just gonna we're gonna go balls to the wall. I I'm assuming we're not fighting any more dragons after this, so I'm gonna cast it at fourth level. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Range spell attacks for multiple rays coming in. Uh, plus five. Okay, so I'm assuming a seven isn't gonna hit. Nope. Is Ratma the only one who's still afraid? Probably. I think so. Okay. What about 12? Nope. Ooh. All right. You drive a hard bargain. What about a nat one? <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good all. I really am glad I used my highest spell slot for this. Uh, 15. No. I'm beginning to think we aren't very good at this, gang. <laughs> Jennifer was rolling decent, you know. I was seventeen. John's roll it was rolling good, but I'm sorry you miss. Okay, so so Whoa. so Anvon shoots God, out works. shoots out five five you strong miss? rays. They go out in all directions. They destroy a lot of Ricky's property. <laughs> <laughs> we did not account for that. <laughs> When we were talking to Ricky. Like, Gotta crack a few Rickies. No big deal. No big He's deal. lost a barn, <laughs> countless sheep, other animals he didn't even know he had. <laughs> so, uh, it was... All right. Well... It was um, a show of force. Which is great. <laughs> uh, the dragon flies up. It is now, um, I would say, probably like within 20 feet of you. Um, when I say you, I mean... Uh, and Vaughn and Ratma, since you're both just nicely clumped together. Okay. And um, and it's going to breathe its poison breath upon oh, you. Shit. Michael, I don't know I how know. this works, but is that an attack roll? Um, you have to make a uh, constitution saving throw. Oh, it's like a deck save. Right. So oh, if you, that's if annoying. You, do you have that rogue thing that gives you is that, displacement? Is that, yeah. Michael's favorite thing. Why, well, yes, I do have that. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently that doesn't work in this case. Fine. Sorry. No, Maybe no, no. The the like the thing you had for monks where you had like advantage on. Um, oh no, I do not yeah. have that. All right, so Bachman and Nico what was that to again? make a uh, Constitution saving throw. Con <laughs> oh, I have okay. I'll 15? have you know I have a plus one. <laughs> oh wait! Oh, I'm gonna use my my bardic inspiration. Uh, seven. So this dice is out of here. Nineteen. <laughs> what did you get? Nineteen. Nineteen. You succeed. Yee! Ooh. Okay. Yay! Okay. Uh, Nineteen succeeds. Uh, whatever Bachman rolled fails. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good assumption. So, <laughs> so Anvon, you're gonna take fifty-six poison damage. Fuck. 
and uh, and R- Ritma. Uh, Ritma, Ratma, Ratma, Ritma, Ratmo. You're gonna take Ratmo to you. uh, 28 poison damage. Oh wait, oh, I wow. have um, evasion. That's what I was thinking. Nice. Does that Is count? That, I don't think that. That's just for Dex, isn't it? I don't know. Wait, I'm gonna use it for this. Oh wow, that's a great point, Michael. It is for Dex, for, but it specifically it's points Dex. out area attacks for. Dragon Breath, but it is probably just Dex. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure it says. Wait, Michael, did you say this is for, this is a saving throw for That's poison? Okay. Yes. Advantage against poison. Let's go. Right, <laughs> and I'm also resistant. Because uh, <laughs> how do you poison a table? Uh, <laughs> I've done it. Uh, it was Constitution, you said. Yeah. yeah. Fifteen. Fails still. Oh, goddamn! But you still take you have resistance, so you take half. Half of what again? Fifty-six. So oh, fuck. So twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Damn good thing I'm resistant. That's math. That's math. All right. Um, Ratma Ritmo, you have a dragon within twenty feet of you. You are still okay. afraid of it. <laughs> oh. I Both can't move closer to play. it, but can I move off? Any of... way but towards it. So could I go behind it? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, there is a way to always be moving away from it. Right. But still end up behind it if you I'm go. I'm looking That's at true. it Girl. and watching it. While yeah, I'm you can strafe around it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing the thing that you do whenever you don't want to hit the um, attack boxes in video games. Yeah, you're just out of their reach. Yeah, you want to dance in front of the the raid boss, but you don't want to pull it. Uh, yeah. It will take you 87 yeah. feet of movement. To do it. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> can I move 30 feet away? Yes. Then, then the dragon will know that we're not a sheep. I yeah. think yeah. it's it already, it has already figured that out. Michael, mind that. blown for that. Guy. <laughs> what guys? You? Oh man! Am, I, uh, am I on I... Lubin's TikTok shit? Hey, what's up? <laughs> um, and then I got a sixteen to try to not be frightened. Um. Oh, so you're, so you're just moving away? I'm just gonna move, and then. Hey, you know what? 16 succeed. Yes! Yay, we're not afraid. We're not afraid anymore. And uh, and then we go to Lubin. Okay, so a question. Does this dragon seem large size or smaller? Mm -hmm. Or is it bigger than that? It is is huge. It is huge. Okay, so I cannot trip it with an arrow. That makes a lot of sense. (laughs) (laughs) Also, from my dangling position, can mm-hmm. I see a path to the root cellar? Because this is not going well. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Absolutely. So, absolutely can see that. Okay, well, I'll give it one more go. I've got these arrows. You know, I bought them. I should use them. <laughs> um, I guess, uh, yeah, first of all, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to shoot it now that I'm not frightened. Uh, 27. That is going to very much hit. That is a good one. Nice. And um, I'm going to make it a distracting strike. Okay. So I'm going to expend a superior die to add the total of the damage and the next attack roll against it by someone before my next turn has advantage. Nice. Okay. And that would be... Uh... I love ranged battle masters. They're so good. <laughs> it is nine damage. Okay. Oh, that, that's the... Sorry, that the four... And then that's the that gets added to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10, 14, 18 damage. 18 damage. Okay. Woohoo. And then I will attack with my second attack. Nice. Uh, it's 27. That hits again. Jesus. Okay. So just a regular attack this time. Five plus four, nine. Nice. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Good I'm giddy, so the brain starts like bouncing up and yes. down. <laughs> like, giggling. You're like in the groove. Oh, and I'm starting to get a little bit queasy. <laughs> the uh, 
uh, Ricky peers out and he's like, whoa, when he sees you uh, shoot upside down. It's very exciting. Get back in there. Spread the word. <laughs> Clearly hasn't noticed all the thousands Like and subscribe. Of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Durian Brexley Shire. All right. So uh, our friend is 20 feet away from my friend. Is it safe to assume he is within 60 feet of me? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can you give me a, a, a charisma saving throw, please? Charisma. How charismatic is this dragon? It's a, been a lot. He looks pretty hot. Dropped it. <laughs> this dragon's pretty hot. Uh, oh, it's cocked. Oh, wait. I think I can do something fucked up. Uh, it I'm giving you... It was going to be a 20. I give you disadvantage on this. Using my ability. I foresaw this, actually. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. You, I know what you're doing. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Uh, it's my favorite by the gods ability. Wait. Nope. Well, I, have uh, I, I'm, I have made up uh, an ability. I do not have the thing <laughs> I'm saying. Uh, oh, uh, I'm using heightened spell. Heightened spell. That's what I'm using. Heightened okay. spell. Well, I rolled, so I have to roll disadvantage. Yep. Because I got a 20 and a 3. Oh, I want the 3 real bad. Yeah. Okay, three. Michael. Uh, 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 Durian uh, steps out. Snaps his Whoa. fingers like he's a Final Fantasy uh, character, and our good friend the dragon disappears. I'm casting Banish. All right, oh. everyone. Not a super great first couple of rounds, but uh, shake yourselves off if any of you are afraid. You're not anymore because you can't see them. I mean, I'm holding like a leg of mutton and like. Uh, but, uh, I'm gonna go back inside, but. All of you should uh, get ready because he's coming out from right there. Uh, you're doing, you're doing great. Good job, team. Good job, team. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go back inside. So what does the spell do? Banish. It's like a, a less good maze, uh, but it's also weirdly better. I'm ever, I'm ever hating it. You did it to Toby once because you're a dick. Uh, you attempt to send one creature. Uh. Um. Yeah. What? I think, I think it stays there for a minute. Like a minute, yeah. Okay, that's why it's worse than maze. Wow. Yeah. So it's gone for a minute. All right, everyone, you have a minute. Third I thought, one. I thought maze was <laughs> a group. Yeah. <laughs> coming together. Have a juice box. So. Yeah. Let's do a huddle real quick. Real Keep quick, everybody. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but that was a very scary dragon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, where do you guys do you set up in a particular places? I what gotta, I gotta heal. I'm gonna cure wounds. Uh, if anyone heals, they get extra because of oh. me. Oh, okay. um, and my mom. Um, <laughs> and you what? get. Yeah, wait. What is your mom? A god, probably. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's Probably's like a race. Uh, no, it's my sorceress. You get extra healing from me. empowered healing. Um, mm -hmm. If you are near me, you uh, when you roll dice to determine the number of HP a spell restores, um, I can use one uh, sorcery point to re-roll. So if you roll like shit, just tell me and I'll spend a sorcery point. Okay. Good to know. And Michael, I assume we have healing potions? I, we didn't ask you anything. but You each have a healing potion. Perfect. Oh, that's um, not bad. My thigh strength gives out. I come into the ground. <laughs> and I'm going to take cover behind and aim for where I think the dragon might appear. Sick. Okay, perfect. Does that wait? The dragon doesn't just appear where he disappeared. He should appear where they disappeared. Yeah. So I've we can. This, I've done this before. So we yeah. can ready stuff. Is what you're Yeah. So about. we can just like be waiting there. Um. I want to move my. I want to put my uh, cannon. Uh, my flamethrower, uh, ne right next, right next to him, within fifteen feet, <laughs> um, okay. and ready the ready the the fire uh, for when he comes back. And then I want to be on the other side, also readying a very similar effect. I'm gonna do. So you have a cannon too. in a wildfire that yeah. rules. Yeah, and you almost <laughs> took a bag of tricks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about the wildfire. Thank you. The wildfire is gonna be there too. 
And oh. you know what? I did take a bag of tricks. Big ass badgers there. <laughs> okay. Just like snarling. I, I just dumped the bag out. <laughs> Oh, don't get me started about dumping the bag. Can, can I ask a question? Do we think, were you to put a physical object in the space the Ooh. dragon was oh. in, mm -hmm. do you think it would come back and displace out so, so whatever's I, in that area? We're level 10, so I'm sure we've done this before. Um, if <laughs> it comes back, it if, if something's there, like if you guys threw a stone or something like that, he wouldn't come back and his heart explode. He would be <laughs> next to it, or they would be next oh, to okay. it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, when, it's like when we fought that ice troll. It goes to the left. <laughs> the Bald basket of oranges had no effect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. It just didn't kill him. He was like, what is this? I'm from the ice. I don't know what citrus is. <laughs> or so I don't I speak. Love this. I don't speak Yeti. Um, all right. So it comes back, it reappears. Uh, and I believe, why don't we just go to the top of the round? Because that's where we were anyway. Yes. All right. So big bow. Bow time. Wait, okay. did we? Did we? We didn't have ready to actions to resolve. Oh right, I guess. Yeah. yeah you, Could you bow throw action, Ratma but... into the air? Oh, does that mean? Oh no. Sure. Just like where the dragon is, just like toss her up because I can't like go up to get the dragon, but if. Bo could yeah. throw me up. Like, could that be like my the like, dragon? That's not really like an action, right? Throwing <laughs> throwing Ratma is like not really a an movement. action. It's like a movement. I'm not gonna move. I'm just gonna be there. Right, Michael? I don't think it's either of this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think just it's not. Let me throw her. <laughs> oh, so it's not an action, it's just a thing we get to do. Cool. <laughs> um, I think you could I think I think you can position yourself in a tree close to where you think it's going to reappear and you can jump okay. out if you want. Okay, okay. I know a good okay, I'll do that. that <laughs> yeah. 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 Tree next to... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think then in, in that case, if the dragon pops back into being in front of Bo, Bo's going to attack with a war pick. And okay, so you're goes. doing... Why doesn't everyone say what their ready actions are so that we can... Because I think that's how that would work. Yeah, I, don't even, okay. I don't even know if they... We like very demon. rarely have done the ready to action. Yeah, thing. and I feel like it's anyway. Regardless, I mean, my action is hit with war pick. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. What is what is everyone else doing? Uh, what is Anvon doing? I've got three, so I've got burning hands. That's my right. ready to action. Right, a lot uh, of fire. My flamethrower, and then the wildfire spirit is going to do another fire seed or flame seed, which is probably going to miss. Okay, and then Ratma? Uh, I would like to um, a attack it, a flanking if possible, but I don't think it matters because I took Swashbuckler, so. Okay, all right. And then um, what is um, Luban, Luban doing? Um, for now, regular shots, I guess. Okay. And is, is Durian... Oh, there goes the headphone. Is yeah. Durian, is Durian uh, ready in action? No, I'm I'm maintaining concentration. Okay, all right. Okay, so okay, so good. Big Bo, take your action. Hell yeah. Okay, well I rolled a twenty six to hit with my war pick. Wow, that hits. So good. Uh, and I go ahead. I get to attack twice, so I'll go ahead and roll for the second one too. Uh, actually, that was okay. Twenty. Twenty to hit. So she's attacking right. twice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Like twenty is a lot of damage. <laughs> no, I wish. And I wish. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like this guy's got some health. Yeah. We're fine. I'm, we're. I, I foresaw it. We're good. <laughs> All fine. You say a really funny thing when it dies, so it's not a big deal. We're fine. We're, we're fine. So, so Bo does twenty five damage nice. total. Yeah, just whap whap. With the war pick, I let's say um in the wings. Ow. Uh, yeah, I can be tall. Um, and Vaughn. Uh, I'm gonna need a Dex saving throw from the dragon. I can I can do that. Sixteen. Good roll. That's too good i would say uh so he's a player too so he deserves praise gonna take half damage from the uh 
Let's see. Oh my god, where are all these fucking dice? Here we go. <laughs> Too many dice, in my opinion. So half of 11's taken 5.5, Michael. Uh, Yay. Is it dead? No, probably dead. <laughs> what, what does it look like? <laughs> um, how big is the dragon, Michael? It's huge. Okay, so like 15 feet wide? From the ground. Indy, Ivy. <laughs> huge. Uh, is that roughly the width of the halfling? <laughs> it's 37 uh, of you huge is 15 by 15 well. damn all right uh i i need another dexterity saving throw uh i got a 16 again what do you get off on this shit michael what are you doing um <laughs> uh, all right 3d6 uh divided by two uh let's see. Seven, eight, nine. I keep getting these odd numbers. Um, so four. Four uh, damage. Yeah, and well, you got another <laughs> dexterity saving throw coming your way. How many times are you gonna make me? What are you? What's happening? What's happening? I'm just rolling, I'm just rolling dice over here. <laughs> so you're I, I'm not reading my character sheet at all. I'm just like. If, if you just say <laughs> keep rolling, you're doing the DM thing where it's like make a constitution saving throw for no reason just to scare your players, but not for you, the DM, Michael. Congrats, you're playing the D&D now. Uh, 13. Uh, oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, okay. Uh, How bad are your stats? <laughs> he, he hit random, he could have all eights. Who knows? Yeah, they're not, they're not good. I've got like a, a... yeah, it's bad. Oh, it's, I mean, it's weird. I've got 14, 12, 13, 12, 10, 10. That's a great... That's that's, not, yeah, that's yeah, good. It's not bad. No, I just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Um... You might not have needed to make that last dexterity saving throw. It's possible. I, it's possible. I don't know how this random character works. Um... Okay. <laughs> Where it is, where's the... A druid artificer bard being confusing when your max stat is 14? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh, no, this is a range attack. Okay, there we go. Thank you, David. 18, Michael. That hits. Hell yeah! Uh, actually, so one it does now. <laughs> <laughs> it was distracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Level I, 10. I rolled a one for the damage. No! Uh, <laughs> now it's dead, right? Oh my god. But, but plus five. So six damage. Avon is like is our it dead now? Avon's you know how we always joke, like, oh, if you kill my character, uh his brother's gonna show up. Right. That's who Avon is. And yeah. we keep him around because we just missed we missed Bavon so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tall as shit. Yeah. Uh, Ratma, <laughs> your, your it's your uh, bonus attack. Okay, um, I want to kill the dragon. <laughs> I'm taking you oh, the kill. kill as a bonus action. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, it's just a bonus action? No, 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 no. Oh, it's everything. Okay, God, yeah, it's Michael just a, scared your, me. It's just an action. You don't get to. This, just you don't get. Action, it, yes. You don't get. This is your last turn. You don't get to use bonus actions if that comes up. And I probably should have mentioned that for Bachman's 37 rules. But no, he rated all his friend's actions. Unsure if he can do it, but I, I, think I had doubts that I could, but I wasn't going to question it until At after this point, I was let it's to do too it. too late to even question it. Yeah, because some yeah. of those things act as independent creatures, some don't. Who's to say? Um, okay, so does a 27 hit? That really hits a lot. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna roll so many damage. I believe in you. She will. Uh, 
Just seeing Bachman giggle, as I imagine when he's trying to think, how do I do more than eight damage? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was Flipping actually like, right when you said that. <laughs> how do I get a? Is it possible for me to roll above a nineteen? <laughs> right, right when you said that, I was looking at I was looking at Magic Stone. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Twenty six damage. Ooh. Not kill it, I guess. But Holy no, shit! I didn't nice kill it, but that was really great. I did good guys. Um, Luban. Okay. I have never fought a dragon, but I'm just going to ask. Disarming it wouldn't do anything, right? Probably not. <laughs> no. Probably not. Okay. What if a no. dragon had a sword? Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. I wasn't I trying to say gun. gun. <laughs> I've seen extremely powerful art that suggests they can. What uh, if the dragon had a gun? I've been That's on more terrifying. <laughs> what if it has a favorite claw? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, okay. Uh, I'm going to hopefully turn one of these if it hits into a distracting strike. I'm going to try to aim for uh, something comparatively fleshy, an armpit, a dragon's inner thigh, something like that. Mm. Let's see. It's uh, 29. That hits. Okay, so I am going to use my second superiority die to add to the damage here. Where is my d10? There we go. Uh, so four plus uh, nine, 13 damage. And the next attack against it from someone else will have advantage. Sick. And my second attack is uh, 19. <laughs> that hits. Okay, advantage so on throwing a rock. <laughs> uh, seven plus four, 11. Oh, wait, you like you legit threw a rock? No, no, I'm saying like, oh. you know, someone does. I was gonna be so mad that I because I thought about ha handing out magic pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> like, Lubin right. sets up this sick move and like, yeah, take that <laughs> two, one yeah. d four damage. <laughs> it's one d six. That is that Lubin's turn? That is that's Lubin's turn. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, uh, Durian. Uh, okay, uh, Michael, can I, uh, and I ask this because of the casting two spells rule, I want to run out, cast Blessed, cast Misty Step to go back into the house. Um, we should probably decide on that. I think uh, re the reaction boys should be fine. Uh, yeah. I, I'm not just saying that just because it would help me right now, because <laughs> right. the rule sucks, uh, right. for some things, but. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, I do that. I run out, cast Bless on... Uh, I cast it at um, uh, third level. Okay. So every single one of y'all can add a d4 to... Um, you, whenever you make an attack roll or a saving throw. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then I cast Misty Step to go back in the house, and I All right. I'm reading back the in the house. Um, so Big Bo, Big yeah. Bo, you have advantage because the dragon has been distracted by an arrow. Yay! Oh, okay, I'm glad you're joining next. Awesome. So sorry. And actually, what I'm gonna do too is I'm going to use my action surge on this one. Okay. To so it's just I'm assuming the advantage just on my first attack. Okay. Yes. I was like, what did I get it for all this? Because the wonderful <laughs> thing right, I'm realizing is that with a fighter, basically I'm about to attack four times. Woo! With my action Whoa. surge, because I can normally attack twice, and I get to take another action, which allows me to attack two more times. Is that? We googled it. We googled it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, because if it's just the attack action. Yeah, because because haste just lets you do I think just one attack. I don't right. know. There's too many rules in this fucking game. Okay, so first one, good thing I had advantage because I rolled bad the first time. So that would be a 20 for that the first is. attack. Okay. Oh, yeah. 22. Hits. 19. That hits. Oh, and a 27. Damn. Yay. Going off. All right. Time to roll. Roll. I rolled uh, my 
made four d8s. Two of them were ones. Cool. <laughs> oh, no. Good roll. Uh, let's do that. That's 46 damage. Because I just... I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because my... <laughs> My like space pick. right now. <laughs> because let me explain. Because my war pick is a one d eight plus eight. Because I I have like Ooh. another thing that like yeah. adds to my nice. automatic damage. So so forty six is pretty low. <laughs> yeah. You want to describe? Just I mean, it's not it's not dead yet, but you want to just describe that attack since it is. Okay. Yeah. So so sick. basically, Big Bo just starts like laughing maniacally and doing the like. Warpick, it's just like a flurry, and I don't know if dragons does a great dragon have green blood. What's the situation with the blood? Very important, Michael. This will it would probably be, uh, it would, it, it, I bet if you were to really thin it out, it'd be green, but it's probably black. Black, oh, oh yeah. that's Ooh. better. Oh, cool, like oh. dark, yeah, so yeah. dark, so, green. so, so yeah. dark. That yeah. Yeah. So, imagine big bow, like. Not just doing like bam, 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 but up, but like kind of like swinging it around, like mm. side to side, mm. doing the wax so that the 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 the, uh, the war pick because it's kind of got like on the blunt side, yes, on the spiky side, yes, it's a blunt and spiky side on both. Big Bo is covered in black blood, <laughs> covered, <laughs> absolutely covered in black blood. I'm glistening. The parts of my like my my uh bikini armor for lack of better <laughs> words my muscles are shining um and my hair is covered and i'm just completely covered in blood you look gross yeah but no, i look cool. awesome you look <laughs> well great. the dragon hates it so it whips its tail around it no <laughs> no <laughs> that's a 17 versus your ac no that misses oh. my AC is 21, baby. I'm a Ooh, liar. She's not call small bow. A big bow. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big boy <laughs> armor on. My nipples are covered. I, They're yeah, legal. it is bikini armor, but yeah, it protects me. <laughs> Don't ask questions. Um, and Vaughn, Whisper Mouse, Mike Bachman. Yes. Uh, thank you for all of those. <laughs> um, Anvon is going to do. Um, he's. The, you know what? His cannon's going to try that. F try that uh, flamethrower again, and this time it's going to work. <laughs> uh, I feel it in my bones. Give me another deck save. You won't. Got it. You got it, buddy. Coward. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael, oh, you idiot. Fucking fails. Um, 14 damage from the ground. Uh, and I am going to do um, some scorching rays. And these, I'm okay. not I'm not going to miss everyone. <laughs> this time. Uh, I believe in you. And remember, you can add D4 to whatever spell attacks you roll. All of them? Uh... Well, yes. Once, or it's just until. Uh, whenever you do it, it's not. Okay, because this is going to be uh, four separate rolls. Yep, you can do okay. it each time. Oh yeah. I'm gonna need it. That was a that was a nat one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even add to that one. A five probably doesn't <laughs> hit. Who knows? Oh my god! This is, all my <laughs> dice are dog shit today. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah. Um. And thank you to the chat for donating 10,000 bits to curse Mike Bachman. We went out to a witch witch and uh, uh, Mike gave him some Mike Bachman blood and he's rolling bad. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. 19. 19 hit. I did add the Yay. D4 to that though. Um, okay, that's 23. That hits. There we go. That's 20. That also hit. Oh my god. Is this what it feels like? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so 3, 2d6. So 6d6 coming at you. Nice. <laughs> 
19 is all I can pull out of that. Yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Mike Bachman, what does it look like? <gasps> what? When your character kills this green oh. dragon. Yes! Yes! Oh. I, don't, I don't deserve that. Um, so the first, the first of these scorching rays come out, and now the dragon's getting a little cocky. Because uh, he, his, I have not hit that dragon with shit this entire time, and he, and he's like looking behind him, and and this dragon can talk now. He goes, "Hey, oh, that didn't even hit me!" And then gets like just three of them right through the back of his neck and out oh, of shit. his like two go out his eyes and one goes out his mouth. Oh um, wow! Wow. wow! That was just by and... my time. And uh, you're just sprayed with that greenish black blood, and uh, and we will ourselves fade to black. Oh. And uh, we've finished our episode, our our, nice our prelude episode. Oh. Who knows I, what's going to happen? Before we fade to here. black, um, everyone gives each other a big group hug, and we're all covered in blood. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't too late. Too late. Uh. <laughs> big bow picks everyone up <laughs> in his huge arms. And then we go around hugging all the sheep and leaving yes. black marks. All right, yeah. Michael. <laughs> Did any of the sheep even die? Michael, it sounds like we lost one sheep. Yeah, you lost one sheep. You That's did all? so great. Or wow. whatever the singular version of Honestly, sheep Honestly, it's a very actually, successful mission. Actually, when the the big, huge 15-foot by 15-foot dragon falls, it falls right into a dozen sheep. Oh, 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 oh. man. Uh, well, I mean, you... them all. let's party. We got to eat the meat before it spoils. <laughs> eat the meat, baby. It's mutton time. <laughs> We're going to have a whole meat eating arc. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Second brunch. <laughs> We're like drying it out, jerkifying the meat. <laughs> um, yeah, we jerk so... the meat. <laughs> I don't want to uh... do that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys made it gross. <laughs> So, uh, so we will learn more about what what this. Ooh, pause for edit. Um, so we will learn more about uh, what the, what happened here. What how does this affect the history of of, uh, of drunk roast in our next campaign? Because it will in a very meaningful way. Um, if a butterfly flaps its wings and causes oh. a tsunami, what what does a dragon? Wow. And uh, a TikTok. TikTok star. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what impact will it have on right? our world? Right. Like, is is excessive thigh meat, um, yeah. you know, outlawed in the future? Who's to say? Who's to, who's yeah. to say? Yeah. Who's Technically, say? former TikTok star. Um, I had a headline about jerkifying meat in the. Is <laughs> 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 for me on TikTok. You're in <laughs> parlor now. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, John, thank you so much for thank for you. Playing. That was so much yes. fun, and I can't delight. wait to watch the next episode and see what happens. Yeah, yeah it's it's uh, who knows? Uh, you know, Luban could uh, something big could happen. Maybe oh, come be back. Watching. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, that would be great too. Um, excellent. Well. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter. We're at Geekly Anchor at D&D Podcast. I'm at Thrifty Nerd. Michael, we need to give away dice. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> so <laughs> do that. Like, <laughs> so uh, right now we're going to give away one of the five dice just so it would be faster. Uh, so actually, uh, I'm going to say the whole spiel, blah, blah, blah. Uh, thank you so much to Die Hard Dice yes. for providing um, the beautiful codes. I'm actually going to give away the dice off air. Uh, but still give you the beautiful spiel. If you don't win, which you might actually this week, you go over to dieharddice.com and use the offer code. Nika, what is it? I forgot already. Dragons! Exclamation mark. You oh. used it. You know it. It's you the same it. thing for the next yeah. three months. All right. So for the next three months, starting in January 2022, use dragons with an exclamation mark at the end to get 15% off your dice. That will give us a uh, a little kissy off of that, uh, of of your order, and hashtag ad hashtag sponsor. And, and also just die hard, you know we talk about it every week. Die hard dice are good. They're good. They're good people. They're good. Like good. the dice. We like the people. Yeah. So, so uh, I'll do the since there's five. I'm gonna do the drawings off air. Uh, but thank you so much, everyone, and Twitch man. Thank you so much, yes. everyone, on Twitch. Really, yes. uh, you're joining uh, us. Uh, uh, we're gonna do the shout outs for the subs and so forth when we. 
uh, get off. But there's so many new folks here. Really, mm -hmm. really great. And uh, I feel like there are our first a uh, few people that was their first stream they caught. Yeah, so. yeah I felt like yeah. there's a gaggle. Lots of first Thank timers. You for joining us. Yeah. And uh, like Michael said, uh, so this is episode zero. Uh, next week is the first yes. real one. We'll have our characters. Yeah. We'll have lore. Um, things have happened. Things of well, time wipe. Can I just say right now, my character's hot. My character's hot. <laughs> my character's hot. <laughs> Your characters are all going to get my character is squat in their oh, face. In the first about... <laughs> no. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, but thanks again to Die Hard Dice, and uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at Tim Lanning, and uh, a new Monster of the Week show will be starting um, the day this episode drops, actually. So. Monday with the whatever the heck, uh, the 16th? I don't know. Um, every Monday uh, at 8.30 or so. I have no idea. I should probably 17. look that up. <laughs> what? Let's look at Tim's Twitter. 17th. 17th? 17th. Let's watch Tim's Twitter. That makes sense. Um, it's a Monster of, of a Week podcast. It's going to be good. And as always, you can check out Naruto Revuto, which is my Naruto podcast. Uh, and my stream every Thursday at 2 p.m. where I play Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Nice. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jennifer Sheik, where I am often tweeting about really bad movies that I'm watching or Star <laughs> Trek, which is good, um, or who knows what. But uh, you know what else you can listen to? Uh, Dear Internet. It's mm -hmm. a show that I do with Tim and Michael, and sometimes Nika and, and Bachman have been on. It's an internet advice show. Uh, please make it worth my while to continue digging in <laughs> their, their Reddit advice minds. <laughs> yes, I will continue doing it regardless, but at least this way I can feel less bad about it. John, do you ever go on to Am I the Asshole or <laughs> Our Relationships or anything like That's, that? This is I, I, I find questions from there and we discuss them. Very nice. I like it. Yeah. This is good fun. You can find me on Twitter at Nika underscore Howard or on Instagram at the Nika Howard. And from there, you can find all of my other links. You can find me at the Mike Bachman, also at Review Hole. I just posted a, a new video that took uh, what? a lot, a lot Let of me time. See. A lot you of did? Time. Bro, yeah. you did? did? Why did you not tell me? I thought you yeah, I, I, I could have sworn you were in a chat where John was talking about it. Huh. You've seen it before, um, though. Oh, I've seen it before. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. John, tell us again. Let's let's go back through your stuff in your yeah. media empire. Uh, so you can follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram um, at John Iderola, assuming you can spell that last name, <laughs> and uh, youtubecom slash report or twitchtv tyt is where you can see my daily show, The Damage Report. I also host. Wednesdays and Fridays, and I fill in on The Young Turks. So that's available everywhere at The Young Turks. Beautiful. And thank and you again. Is... That was so much fun. No, it's thank you. Fun. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Was great. I feel like you fit right in with our crew. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I had a lot of anxiety, but you were very welcoming. So <laughs> we'll have to have you back on when we're more uh, of our grounded. Yeah. Character. Well, some of them. <laughs> they won't be grounded. <laughs> well, right, I'm more grounded. <laughs> well, where we're, we don't want to accidentally hurt our characters. Right. right? When we yeah. actually have yeah. stakes for our characters. <laughs> but no, that was a lot of fun. I, I love Lobin. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Lubin, Lubin. 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 All right. Well, uh, until next week, keep it dicey.